Hello, everybody. Uh, together in this uh, in this first video of our addition unit, we are going to work together to answer the uh, the following question. So, how can I add multi-digit numbers using the standard algorithm? Whoa. Using the standard algorithm. So the standard, we, we actually talked about algorithm in class before, and it's really that fancy word for saying math problem or a way to solve a math problem. And this word standard, I want you to think about it like uh, as kind of the traditional way that um, maybe I, that I learned how to add, that your families may have learned how to add. And that's why we kind of jokingly refer to it in class as like the parent method, right? And that's what we're going to explore today. So without further ado, make sure you have your organizer set up correctly the way that you're expected to, and, uh, and we will begin. So in your model problem box, we're going to lead off with this problem. It's 32 plus 67. So we have two parts, right? These are called our add-ends, right? And our goal is to get a sum, right? A sum is, is your whole. So you're adding two parts okay, to get one whole. And then we call that a sum, okay? And I'm first going to notice that I have a tens place and I have a ones place, okay? Now I'm going to start on the right-hand side of this problem. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add 2 and 7, okay? And I'm going to write my facts over here so I can keep track of my thinking. And I know that 2 plus 7 equals 9, all right? And this may be a review for some of you, but it's always good to refresh. And then I'm going to take 3, and I'm going to add 6 to it, okay? So I put my 9 here. And then I have 3 plus 6, okay? That also equals 9. So my sum or my final answer in this problem is 99. Okay, but now taking it one step further, sometimes the numbers may not always be that friendly. The facts are simple, but the way that we're going to approach this problem is with something called regrouping. And I'm going to begin with that right-hand side of the problem in that ones column. And I'm going to add 7 plus 9. 7 ones plus 9 ones gives us 16 ones. But wait, many students in the past have put 16, but that's incorrect. What I want you to do is to visualize the fact that there are six ones in this problem, so I'm going to line it up under the ones column. And there is one 10 that I have to add to the left column. So that one 10 is actually going to go up here. So I have one 10. I'm going to circle it to keep track of my thinking. And then I'm going to go ahead and add 1 plus 3 plus 2. And 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay. I'm going to add 2. That's going to give me 6. Okay. So my final answer is 66. So that is two-digit addition with regrouping. For practice problem number one on your organizer, here is how I would like to have you complete it. So in a moment, because you can, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pause your teacher. You're going to pause Mr. Wilson. Okay? You're going to solve this problem on your own and rewind and go back to that model problem if you run into any hiccups okay, along the way. But hit pause, solve it, and then hit play again, and then I, you can correct your work along with me. Okay, welcome back. So now you've gone ahead and you've solved this problem, and I will go ahead and just, um, and I'm going to think aloud as I solve it. So I'm going to start with 7 plus 6, okay, and 7 plus 6 whoop, equals 13. I'm going to put the three ones underneath the ones column. I'm going to put the 110 above the tens column. And then I'm going to add 1 plus 2 plus 8, okay. And I'm going to approach 1 plus 2 plus 8 in a friendly way. I'm going to put parentheses because that means do me first over the 2 plus 8 because I know that that's 10. And I'm left with 1 plus 10, which will equal 11. Now, I'm going to put the 1 right here, okay, and 11, or actually it's the 10. But notice how there's nothing to the left of 2786. 
So that's a good thing because now I just have to make it a hundreds place, which is 113, and that is the sum. So 27 plus 86 equals 113. All right, so practice problem two, we're going to do the same thing. But all I want you to do is take your step a bit further, okay? So now what we've done is we've added a hundreds place, okay? I've added 200 and 300. So again, see if you can uh, challenge yourself, hit the pause button, solve it yourself, and then hit play, and we'll go over it together. So welcome back. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to approach this problem the same way I did with practice problem one, but now I just have one extra step. So make sure we keep track of that and keep our work neat and organized. So I know that six, whoop, that six plus six equals 12. I'm going to take my one, put it down here. I'm going to then take my 10 and put it above the four plus eight. I have one plus four plus eight. Okay. Friendly number here. So four plus eight is 12. I'm going to add one to that. And that's going to give me 13. Okay, so these are my facts over here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10 right here, the 3, and put it underneath this column. You may notice a pattern that now I put the 100 above the 2 and the 3. And I'm going to add 1 plus 2 plus 3. And I know that 2 plus 3 equals 5. I'm going to add 1 to that, and that gives me an answer of 6. So 246 plus 386 equals 632. Hope that worked out for everybody. Okay, so for practice problem three on your organizer, what I would like to have you do is to solve these on your own. 25 plus 69, a two digit by two digit addition number, and 247 plus 163. Complete those on your own. This is independent practice, and then we'll go over these in class tomorrow. So, Basically, to wrap this up, what you learned and what I hope to teach you today was answering the question, how can we, use, how can we add multi-digit numbers using the standard algorithm? That standard, old-school way of learning math. Okay? So hit me up if you have any questions, and uh, best of luck on the last two practice problems.